Hello, everybody. What is up? And welcome. I am the OG GO Greg Osman. Thank you so much for joining me today. Episode number four of World of Outlaws Dirt Racing. If you missed the last episode, you can click the eye in the top right of the screen. Go check that out. Make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, all your normal YouTube stuff so you can help support us and follow along with this series and everything else we got going on on the channel. As always, check out the video description, timestamps if you want to skip ahead to any specific portion of this video uh, or go back to any specific, I don't know, do whatever you want with it. Uh, but also in the description, you've got our link tree and link that's got a uh, the, all the links to our great channel and racing supporters and sponsors um, in it, uh, as well as a link, the description. Oh my goodness. The description also has a link to details about channel memberships. We've got some exclusive stuff for channel members. It's $5 a month and only $5. It will always be $5 a month and not any more. But yes, here we are. Episode number four, World of Outlaws Dirt Racing. Um little bit of a, a somber start to this um you know, over the weekend we lost rick eshelman um who was the former uh, world of outlaws late model series announcer um uh, he unfortunately took his own life uh, i believe it was friday uh last week um so definitely thoughts and prayers out to all of his friends and family um i have a lot of friends within the World of Outlaw Sphere, um, you know, one of my better friends, one of my best friends actually at this point is the dirt car, stock car tech director uh, and worked with, with Rick pretty closely uh, within the dirt car sphere. Uh, and Rick was actually supposed to be at the Fall Nationals uh, in Lincoln, Illinois last week and uh, unfortunately did not make it. Um, he went missing Thursday and uh, took his own life uh, you know, Thursday evening, Wednesday, Thursday evening. Um, so definitely prayers out to all of his friends and family. And then uh, late Saturday, early Sunday morning, um, we lost someone who I've actually competed against uh, in the stock car ranks. Um, Lee Hall, uh, his wife Felicia, and their daughter Madison uh, were on their way back from uh, to their home. They were on their way home from Charleston, the Fall Nationals, uh, street stock car and factory stock Fall Nationals in Charleston. And there were... Um, Unfortunately, struck struck by a drunk driver, uh, and they all three succumbed to their injuries. So, um, definitely not how I want to start out a video like this. But um, if I can impart anything, um, <coughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna hide the fact that my voice is breaking up. But um, if you're struggling, if you have trouble accepting yourself. Um, I've definitely been to those places before. Um, just reach out. Uh, you know, you can even reach out to me. I'm a complete stranger. I'm not going to judge you. Um, you're not being a manly man by hiding your hiding your emotions and feelings. Um, we're all humans. We all have feelings. We all have emotions. You're not helping anybody by burying everything and and sitting on them. Um, you need to, if you need help, you know, you're the only one that can really admit when you need it uh, and, and take those steps to actually do it. Um, I will say that admitting that you need help is, is not easy, but accepting that you need help is uh, is really the only way you're going to be able to drag yourself out of those dark places. So, um, and, and the other thing there is, you know, you can be the other side of that coin as well. You can um, reach out to anybody, you know, just because someone's smiling and um, always positive doesn't mean that that's how they feel internally. Um, I've, I've in the past gotten very good at putting on a very, very public facade. And as soon as I get home, as soon as that door closes, the facade washes away and, you know, everything else kind of floods back and, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to admit that you're not okay, but, um, it's okay to not be okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then obviously if you're going to drink, don't drive. Um, that is, you know, 
100% avoidable situation. You know, um, three people lost their lives. Um, a son lost both his parents and his only other sibling. So I, I, I really don't know what would compel someone to do that. Um, I've never really been the one to drink in excess or anything like that. But um, if you're going to, um, obviously call an Uber, call a Lyft, call a cab. There are way too many other resources available to you to prevent you from doing something that's going to change or end a life or lives. Um, so please, please don't do that. Um, but you know, <clears throat> not to, uh, not to discredit anything like that, but, um, time does go on life. Um, circle of life still revolves. Um, so today's video is a, um, not a, uh, what's the right way to put this? We don't, we're not recording today as a, um, as a way of moving past what happened. It's a way of celebrating, um, those four people and what they've done. Um, <coughs> you know, um, there's a lot of people that will never forget what those people have done for them. Uh, you know, Rick and was just inducted to the National Dirt Late Model Hall of Fame uh, a month ago. So it goes to show you that success does not equal happiness. Um, and just because someone's outwardly appearance says one thing doesn't mean that they're not battling something on the inside. So never assume that someone's okay. Um, and the best thing you can do if you think somebody's having uh if you think somebody's not doing well uh even if you think they're doing fine just reach out a friendly text message you know i will even say this from experience that one hey man hope you're having a good day hey man miss you something like very simple can go a long way um but yeah today we race to celebrate not to forget so here we are, episode four, World of Outlaws Dirt Racing. Um, thank you for letting me <coughs> get that out. Um, it was definitely something I needed to do and wanted to do. Um, but yeah. All right, here we are, Sterling County Speedway. We're staying in Illinois. Last race we had was at Fairbury, uh, which is a real track, obviously. Uh, and is the closest track to me physically, uh, as it is a half an hour directly to my east. Uh, so Sterling County Speedway is in Illinois. We're going to race at a daytime, a quarter mile, 25 laps. First place gets $3,000. We've upgraded our car to all level. Oh, I'm sorry. Tires and suspension are both at level two. Chassis and engine are fully upgraded level one. So... I'm hoping the tires and the suspension will help with this. I hate this track <laughs> so much. It's like a, it's like Martinsville, but it's high bank. It's like the new Auto Club concept, but it's smaller. The corners are so tight, like unbelievable. You'll see when we get into it, but because this game was in, uh, or this track was in the uh, Tony Stewart Sprint Car Racing game. Uh, but yeah. Whew. Yeah, you see there, we're 12th in the point standings right now with 370. Jesse Wright and Ned Hill ahead of us with 376 and 380, respectively. So I'm hoping we can gain a little bit of points here and either close in or uh, jump both of them and grab that uh, a top 10 spot. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I'd love to grab a top 10 before the end of the year. But yeah, you can also see, got a sponsor now. Extra value, so we're going to get a little more money uh, with our sponsor for each race. But yeah, uh, our guy, our driver now has extra value. I don't know if you see it, but yeah, you can. If you look in the car, he's got extra value on his suit, on his helmet. We're, we're all kitted up, ready to go. Sterling County is up next. 25 laps. Let's go. Enjoy the race. 
All right. Announcement Johnny Gibson just said Sterling County is the fastest quarter mile in Illinois. Okay. So, all right. Well, uh, I don't really know what to do with the setup. We're going to stick with this base 50% loose. Goal time there is a 13.836. Let's head out to the track now. I don't remember. I have manual transmission turned on. All right. I loathe this track. Just, just so you all know, like I hate it with a passion. So much, <laughs> so so much. You can see how tight the corners are. Like you lose all momentum. Just, just getting into the corner. Now, yes, you can alter your line, drive it a little differently, and you won't lose as much momentum. Fourteen thirty-eight. We got to pick up about half a second now. Our first race was a sponsor, so we don't do bad, but man, does it have to be this track? <laughs> oh boy, that was a terrible corner. All right, let's just, I'm gonna let the rest of these guys go by. There's two more cars behind us. Of course, they slowed down. All right. Let's put in a mock qualifying run here, so. Let's assume, hey, we just took the green flag for a qualifying run. Try and run this top line to keep our, keep the R's up. Oh God, that's the wall. I gotta stop hitting a wall. Fourteen flat. Okay. Wow, that was slower. Wow. Okay. 13.982 is our fastest lap so far. I don't really know how to drive this track because it's 13.967. That was our fastest lap. I've conceded to the fact that we're, we're not going to have a lot of, we're going to have a lot of body damage. 59, 59. We're getting faster, just not fast enough. Top side does seem to be a little quicker. 13, 5, 31. Look at that. Okay. I think we might have found something here, though. Messed that one up a little bit. Oh, man. Car got really tight there. All right. We're back here. I'm going to do, so we got $57 <laughs> for that. So we're going to go to our custom setups here, uh, 490 on there. I'm going to go up to a 530, see what that does. Um, with 80% rear brake bias right now. Okay. Okay. Left weight is where it needs to be. Cross weights, even rear weight. I'll bump up just a little 1%. Um, I'm gonna bump that up to a 300. And let's see, let's see where that puts us in qual or in practice here. And I forgot that I have manual transmission turned on. I'm gonna spin the tires in the mud there. All right, that's the wall. I've become very good friends with the wall at all these tracks. Try to do that so that so it doesn't hurt you too much when you hit it. So I bumped up. Uh, when you go to a higher number on the gear ratio, that is what's considered a shorter gear ratio. Uh, in I guess if you want to call it technical terms, 15, 13, 538. It's so very close to our fastest lap there on the first lap here out of the gate in practice. Um, so a taller gear ratio or a shorter gear ratio gives you um, faster acceleration and lower top speed. So obviously at a track like this, especially if we were to run the bottom, you want to have better acceleration. Um, and I definitely need to go with a softer right rear spring. Uh, you want to have more acceleration, top speed's not really that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, you can see how, how loose the car is right now. Um, when I made that spring change, putting a, putting that stiffer spring in the right rear, at least in the game, 
uh, loosens the car up, gets the back end a little more, a little happier. So I'm going to bump this down. Was it a 270? I'm gonna bump it down to a 250. Hopefully that helps us out a little bit. And actually, I'm going to put this back down to uh, 54. So we're going to keep practice going here. And I'm actually going to put it in first gear before I mash the gas. Let that car get by. All right. Make sure that my microphone's act. Oh, I spun it out. Yeah, I made a big mistake last week and uh, recorded a lot of the video before realizing I had my mic muted. So I'm going to go back and redo some stuff. Luckily, it uh, I hadn't gotten too far to where that was possible. So, okay. Let's focus in here. I don't know who that is, but they're going to pass us. We're going to try and throw... We're going to open the doors to White Castle, and they're going to close them. Uh, not a great slide job, if you can even call it that. But, yeah, let's... I think it's pretty obvious that the top side is going to be the faster way around the track here. Uh, and you can see how much more the... How much tighter the front of the, the rear of the car is. Um, the rear of the car is not sliding out nearly as much through the corners. You see a 1355 there um so that's what those uh, those changes will do so the rear percentage change we made takes weight so when you look at where it says rear percentage 55 percent that means 55 percent of the total weight of the car so let's say the car weighed a thousand pounds it doesn't obviously uh, it probably weighs about three times that but um if the car weighed a thousand pounds then that would mean 550 pounds of the overall weight of that car were towards the rear of the car. So if you split the car into quarters, uh, right down the middle, left to right, right down the middle, front to rear, um, 550 pounds of that overall thousand pounds would be towards the rear of that center line. Now, how far? I don't know. It doesn't say um, here. Um, But we definitely need that. I think I'm going to put it back up to 55%. I did lower it. But putting that softer spring in the right rear definitely tightened it up a lot. So I think we'll be okay going back to... And I'm sorry if you can hear my cough drop. I'm still fighting allergies or whatever this is that's going on. So <clears throat> I'm going to put this, not that, this back up to 55%. I'm actually going to drop this down to 520. All right, so let's uh, let's try that out before I make any other changes. Continue practice. I really want to get out in front of this guy. Oh, well, that was unceremonious, sir, and or madam. All right, so here we go. I don't want to be down there. I want to be up here. <laughs> Videos next week might be a little sporadic. Um, we're leaving for Dubuque, Iowa uh, next Wednesday. Uh, so a week from when this video, this video comes out uh, for the Iowa Dirt Nationals. Um, we'll be there through Saturday. Um, Oh, God. excuse me. Uh, so probably going to be a little sparse on the videos next week unless I can uh, get the car ready and um, get some bulk recording done uh, then. But um, yeah, we're going to run a few more laps here. More aero damage. That's cool. Uh, okay. See what that lap is. 13.84. Yes, I'm rounding. Oh, there we go. That was a decent corner. That was a really good corner, actually. 1373. I think that's been our... Actually, I don't know. Well, we ran a 1346. That's a pretty good... I don't know how I ran that, but... We're going to try and... A little closer here with... What's going on... 
go. Thirteen thirty. Oh, that was our best lap. Okay, I'm working on the wrong spot. Jeez, I'm racing. 1367. So that 1336 was about half a second faster than the goal time. Oh, I looped it. I didn't even, oh, that was kind of crazy. All right, so let's head back to here. I'm not gonna screw with the car anymore. I could, there's a whole bunch of other things I could do that I kind of want to do, but I'm not going to. Um, 136. 13368 when the goal was a 13836. So let's head to qualifying and see how we do. Qualifying now here at Sterling County. Goal, po goal position is 10th with a 13539. We ran that 13368 in practice, but we're going to have to put together a couple solid laps. So let's head out to the track and get this over with. I don't understand why they put you in neutral. Like, I'm already moving. Why Why did I take it out of gear coming to the, the one to go flag for qualifying? That just doesn't make any sense. All right. We are on the clock. Not a great entry to turn number one right there. Not a great entry to turn number three, but better than turn number one. I'm getting in the wall quite a bit there. 13,674. That 590 is what we need to beat for our sponsor incentive. That's a better entry there. All right, uh, 13,860. That was a terrible, that was even worse. Jeez. 13,674, 13th. That's not bad. We're going to start fourth in heat race number one. That's good. That's on the outside. So, let's see here. Lake Schneekloth grabs top honors. Cam Jurens, Mike Thompson, Kylie Rollins. Chase Jones, top five there. You see Jesse right there. And where is Ned Hill? So we did out qualify Ned Hill. Um, I think he's going to be in our uh, heat race too. So um, yeah, let's, uh, let's head back to the garage or the pit area here and get ready for the heat race. So I'm going to do one small thing here. Actually, gonna bump that to a 260. Can you go higher on the stagger? You can. I'm not gonna do that though. All right, so heat race time. We're starting P4 and heat race one. Let's go. Type two to the dash. Uh, I wasn't paying attention, so I didn't see what it said <laughs> for the for the A. So I'm gonna assume top four. Not a great start, but not a terrible start. I definitely don't want to be on the bottom. Uh, actually, I don't know if I want to be on the top or the bottom. Uh, I assume the top's going to be the better way, the faster way around, but um, I haven't really raced anything here. So I'm not really sure. We're not losing any ground on the, on the top side, but Chase Jones holding that third spot down there on the bottom. I think if we can just get better uh, entry into the corners, we might be able to grab third from Chase. You can see how much he pulls. Ooh, bad, 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 bad. Don't want to do that. And we've got the arrow, arrow notice already. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the wall to help turn the car. Sorry. There we go, there we go. Turn, turn, turn. No, oh, that is a hard hit. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man. Yeah, Jones is starting to pull away from us now. Oh, he goes to the top. We got five to go now, halfway home on this heat race. I hate this track so much. So you see that one small spring adjustment, like 10 pounds. Making that right rear spring 10 pounds heavier. Uh, so a 260 instead of a 250. You see how much it's affected the handling of this car. Like it's it's a lot looser now. 
Uh, so loose meaning that it's tail happy. Um, and yes, I got into the wall again there. We are kind of starting to reel him in, but we're kind of not at the same time. Oh, come on, turn. I really just want to get through the end of this. Wow, that was a heck of a slide job. No, no, no. Ned, Ned, you cannot beat us. We're fighting him in the points. He can't beat us. All right, let's see if we can. Oh, no. Ah! Darn it. I kept screwing up, though. That's my fault. So we are going to transfer to the A main starting 17th. <clears throat> Not great, but it is what it is. See there, Schneekloth gets the win. Barnes in second. They're going to transfer to the Qualify Dash and then Ned Hill, or I'm sorry, Chase Jones, Ned Hill, and myself to the A main. Everybody else to the last chance. All right, back in our pit area here. Oh, sorry, I got get, to get a little more comfortable here. Goal position is the top 10 with our new sponsor, Extra Value Race Parts. So, oh my gosh. My microphone's twisting all up on me right now. Okay, so definitely want to finish top 10 so we can get that uh, sponsor bonus. We missed the sponsor bonus in qualifying. So let's go here, and we're going to bump this spring rate back down to a 250. And I'm going to do something that is probably, probably against my better wishes. I'm going to soften the bump on the right rear shock. So the bump is the compression. The lower the number, at least this is what I think is right, in, in the game at least, the lower the number, the softer the compression. So the quicker the shock compresses. If the number was higher on the bump, it would compress slower. On the rebound, if the number is lower, it's going to rebound quicker. So if you think about, you know, if you have a like a spring from a pen, um, you know, quickly you can compress it and it bounces back quick. You know, that would be low values for this. Whereas if it was a high value for rebound, it would take very long to rebound. So something right in the middle, I, I think it's going to be fine here. We're also going to put the hard tires on. Hopefully uh, counteract some of the um, uh, tire wear issues we've had in the past. Oh, my goodness. We did upgrade the tires, but still, um, until we have the top of the line parts, uh, we need to try to fix or counteract that as much as possible. So starting 17th here in the A main at Sterling County, let's go get it done and see if we can pull out that top 10. Here it goes. Yes, sir. Race time here at Sterling County. A main. We're starting 17th, but Devin Reynolds is going to start 24th. Kylie Rollins is going to start fourth. Good run for her in the dash. Patrick Barnes starting sixth. We're right behind Kaylee, Ky 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 Kylie, whoever it is. We're starting 17th, way back in the back. Here we go, race time, 25 laps, ready to go green. Here we go, green flag is out. Let's go racing. Here at Sterling County, second race in a row in our home state. Oh, 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 got really loose there. Got really loose there. I don't know how I held on to that. So I need to make one correction from what I said a little bit ago. Um, I went back to the, oh, caution. There's going to be a caution. We're, oh, look at all the spots we gained. We're up to 12th now. Let's go. Let's go. So I went back to the soft tires because apparently the hard tires uh, are like ice, uh, especially here. So <laughs> we're plus five now, and I think we only ran two laps. Restart time, though. We're going to try and get a good restart here. Get down into, into Cox there on the restart. No harm, no foul, no damage done to either participant. We're going to grab that 11th spot and try to make a run on, I think that's Ricky Cox. Oh, we're going to shoot the gap here three wide and grab 
10th? Uh, I think it was 10th. But there's Cox back down there on the bottom. Richardson in front of us now, so we're going to make move going into turn number three on Samantha Bell. Look at all the momentum that other 25 car lost. But we're going to get by Bell through turns one and two as we're making some hay here. Making some hay. We're up to P8. Let's throw a slider. Slide job. Open up a white castle and turn on the open side. Sliders for days. We're going to run P3. It didn't even work, though. I don't know why I'm so happy. <laughs> Probably because it worked <laughs> a little bit. We're going to... Oh, look at that run on the top side. We're in P6 right now. There is a definite multi-groove system here. That's a wall. That hurt. We're going to have to repair, repair the body work on this car a lot. But, yes, we won a good run in our home state. Uh, first race with a sponsor. This is not the track I wanted it at. But you win some, you lose some. Guys, we we are plus 11 and reeling in fifth place running Billy Green. Billy Green is running in fifth place right here. We're going to try and track him down. Going into turn number one as we got 16 laps to go. The laps are just ticking away quickly here at Sterling County. We're going to cross him over and open up the White Castle sliders. Is he going to cross this over? Get back by. We're going to stick it on the top side here as he blocks the slide job that time. We're going to stay on the top side, try to get a run on the top, down the back stretch. We're going to pull side by side, going into turn number three on the outside. Driving into turn number three, get a run off of turn number four. Down the front straightaway, Green still got the spot. 14 laps to go. Billy Green still has that fifth place spot, but we're going to get by him. Going into turn number three, see if we can hold on to a through three. And out of four, we're going to grab the wall out of four. Drag race to the start finish line. He's going to grab and hold on to fifth place for now through turns one and two. So we are deep into the back of the field. I got to try to formulate some sort of plan here. And we got by Green that lap. Hard on the binders going into turn number one there. I think I threw a makeshift slider on like four lapped cars there. I don't even know which one of these cars is for position and which isn't. Oh, I got into green. That's my bad. That That's my bad. I should go to the back for that one. He didn't lose any spots, though. I don't feel that bad. But I still feel bad. That was 100% that was my fault. I should go to the tail for that. That's not how they do it here. World of Outlaws start racing. Green flag coming out on this restart. Restarted on the bottom, not ideal. Oh my gosh, like the car just slide. Oh no. We're gonna try and work our way past Jones here. Ooh. There was no opening there as, oh boy, oh boy, we're the meat. We're the meat in the White Castle sandwich now. That'll just make you sick. We're going to lose two spots to Bailey and Rollins. Try and settle into a rhythm here. Try and get by Bailey. Oh, boy. Ah. Seven laps to go here. I'd really like to grab a top five. Let's try to get a rhythm in here. His last few laps. Chase Jones there is in fifth as Rollins got back or is fighting to get back by Jones. We're about one second behind that battle for fifth. And gosh, I understand why my car is so damaged. <laughs> when you bounce it off the wall every lap. Five to go, fistful of fingers in the air. Five laps to go as I have a nose itch. Gosh. So sorry, my nose itch is really bad right now. It's four left to go. All right, here we go. Let's try to settle in a rhythm here. Not let Billy Green get by us for this sixth position. I do feel like we are kind of closing in on Jones as we go into the corner. We're definitely better entering the corner. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to make a move on Jones, though. I think once you figure, oh my gosh, could you imagine racing this track in a super late model or a 410 sprint car? It's probably going to have to happen at some point. We've got two laps to go here at Sterling. Oh, God, that hurts so much. Yeah. 
trying to lose a little performance from <laughs> bouncing off the wall so much. White flag is in the air. That's the doctor's jacket. One lap to go. Let's see if we can hold on to P6 here. We started 17th, so I will definitely say plus 11 is pretty good for our fourth race ever. Whew! That was like camping. It was intense. Do you, do you get it? It's because you camp intense. All right. Here we go. Mikey Thompson gets a win. Schneekloth comes home second. Oh, man. He he won everything else. He got fast time and won his heat race. Won the dash. Second in the game. Man. That sucks. Schneekloth second. Cam Jern's third. Kylie Rollins rallies to grab that fourth. And Chase Jones rounded out the top five. And then you've got myself, Tommy Bailey, Billy Green, Jesse Wright, Patrick Barnes, your top ten. Where is Ned Hill? Twelfth. So we're definitely going to gain some uh, points positions here after beating the two uh, two people in front of us. So uh, definitely happy with that. But yeah, let's uh, let's wrap this race up and get ready to head back home. Okay, A man is over. We finished six, our first top ten. Oh, man. That was a tough one, man. And yes, we are in the top ten in points, grabbing ninth place. We jumped a few positions there. We jumped three spots. So we beat uh, Billy Green. Billy Green. No, we were already ahead of Billy Green. Scoot up, chair. Uh, Jeremy Cross, we jumped. Ned Hill, we jumped. And Jesse Wright, we jumped. Only two points now behind Brett Thompson. What's fifth place at 546? That's going to be tough with only five races left to go. We'll see what we can do. I think we can do it. I think we can do it, though. All right. So race earnings here, 1,733 from sixth place, 1330 from our sponsor, $152 in merch, and our sponsor goal of $57. We're leaving the track with $3,312. Let's load up the trailer, head back to the racetrack, race shop, and check out what we need to do to the car. All right, here we are back at the race shop. Sixth place, we checked off one of those top 10 sponsor goals. Gained 430 fans, gained some money there, and... Oh, I destroyed that car. <laughs> Let's go fix it now. <laughs> All right, Sterling County. I'm just glad that one's in the mirror. We did finish pretty well, though. Elm Creek. Elm. I don't even think I like this one. This one is like the one that's in someone's backyard, I think. Ugh. We're going to repair everything for $783. Uh, let's go check here. Our chassis level one. How much do we need? 6,320, and then engine, we need 11,360. What about upgrades for our tires? 486, 4,800. All right, we're going to break out handy-dandy calculator here. Uh, so 480 plus 640 plus 9, or I'm sorry, 800. It's 1920. And then we check out here. We don't have enough. <laughs> <laughs> We've got enough to upgrade the tires, which I might actually do, because um, that'll give us a little more, a lot more durability. Holy balls! Okay, yeah, we're gonna purchase that one. A lot more durability there. Purchase that one, and we got two thousand nine dollars. Purchase that one for eight hundred. We still got twelve oh nine in the bank. All right, so tires are upgraded all the way through level two. Um, everything else, or I'm sorry, suspension is just. Level two, no upgrades yet. And then chassis and engine are both fully upgraded level one. But you can see we're 52 out of 52, 26% upgraded there on the overall car performance, 23% overall dur durability. Elm Creek is up next is a fifth mile track in Ohio. After that, we're going to head to Kokomo again, and then back to Fairbury, and then Prairie View, and then Eldora for the big one. Oh, boy. <clears throat> what is the next showcase race? I meant to look at that. So, show oh, Kokomo. So, <laughs> Elm Creek, then Kokomo. Uh, so, hopefully, what is today? Uh, well, the day this video is coming out will be Wednesday. Uh, so, Friday, we should be back in another, uh, another showcase race here. Um, yeah, I think that's going to do it for us here today on uh, episode number four of World of Outlaws Dirt Racing. Um, like I said, uh, earlier, uh, just to reiterate, um, it's okay to not be okay. Uh, you, asking for help 
is not a uh, it's not a sign of weakness. It's actually what I consider a a sign of strength. Knowing that you need help and asking for it is an incredibly strong thing to do. Being aware of yourself, being self-aware, and knowing that you need help, admitting you need help, and then asking for help, that's one of the strongest things you could ever do from an emotional, from a, from a mental standpoint. So if you need help, ask for it. If you need somebody to talk to, reach out. If it's a stranger, if it's somebody on the internet that you watch videos that they post, do it. I'm gonna try and do more live streams. Um, with Jaren as we get through some more iRacing stuff, probably just some fun stuff here and there, but um, my virtual door is open if you wanna consider it that. Um, and then if you go out, uh, have any adult beverages, know your limit, don't drink to excess, and if you do, find a ride home. Um, it's as simple as that. Um, I'm not gonna do my normal uh, outro stuff um but yeah um that's uh, that's it for today um you know thoughts and prayers to the eshelman and hall families and uh we'll see you next time